This is a 2008 RAV4, it's the four cylinder. I think it's a 2.4 liter. And this one's four wheel drive. There are gonna be different engine mounts between the two wheel drive and the four wheel drive, I believe. So, but talking about the engine mount, the rear one right back there, I'm gonna show you how to replace that. By the way, this one has four engine mounts total. There's one here. There's the transmission one is basically right here underneath the air box on top of the transmission. And then there's another one right down here. So obviously first you need to raise it up. Uh, if you have ramps, these things are nice, they work perfect. And then you're gonna need a jack to support the engine with. The best spot to put it is just right here on the bottom of the transfer case. Then okay, there's a plastic uh, splash guard here that you need to remove first to get to the to the bottom of the transfer case. And then there's this thing here. After you get the splash guard off, there's going to be two plastic clips, one here and one here. Holy shit! There's a horse walking by. <laughs> and uh, you can just take one of them off, and then you can swivel it like this. And basically, there's just four bolts to the bottom of the engine mount holding it in place. <clears throat> there's going to be two in each one of these holes right here. And these, they're going to be a bolt up in there on the bottom of each one. 17 millimeter socket to get those out. Now you're going to swivel this guard aside. There's going to be two smaller holes here. And there'll be two of these bolts on the bottom that are also 17 millimeter. So you just remove those four. And right here, there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt holding this in place. That just holds the, uh, the shift selector cable right there. You can just take that off. And then I just set it up on the drive shaft right there. And now comes the tricky part. Basically, there's a bolt here. Right there, it's another 17 millimeter. You're gonna have to loosen that up all the way out of the threads. And then the hard part is just actually getting it all the way out so you can actually remove it. There are three bolts holding this mount here that holds uh, this part, but there's one back there that's kind of buried and I couldn't even get a, I couldn't get a flex extension in there or a swivel head extension. So I don't think there's a way to get the one that's right back there, but you can remove this. First thing you can do is just, there's gonna be this boot right here with a steering column. You can just pop it up. I didn't even have to loosen up the metal retaining clip on the side here. I just took a screwdriver, just stick it in there and just pry it up until it pops off. And then the key to getting this ball out easily is you just want the jack to be like the perfect level basically so that these holes are lining up with there. Probably the easiest way is to kind of loosen the ball all the way up, get it as far out as you can, and then have a friend kind of mess around with the jack while you're underneath here, just raising and lowering it like a tiny bit at a time. And then even after you do get it the right height, it's still a pain in the ass to get this ball out. The best way is to get like a small pry bar or a screwdriver and just kind of pry it that way until, and then it'll pop out and then you can take them out right out. So here's the mount right here. This side faces towards the back of the car, this side towards the front. This one's not too bad, but you can kind of push it up. And you can see it's getting a little cracked down in the corner there. It's, kind of, it's not bad, but it's just starting to go bad like a little bit. So here's the new one that I got from O'Reilly's. I think it was like 65 bucks. Um, yeah, it is a bit harder to push this. There's less play in it. The rubber's less worn out. Now when you're putting the new one in, it basically just drops right in. It's if you get the height of the jack just right, same goes for taking it out actually. You should be able to just basically thread the bolt in almost like pretty much the full way just by hand it should spin really easy and I had to raise the jack up a bit more for the new one probably because the old one was worn out so it's a bit lower or you know it could just be a bit different because it's an aftermarket one 
But yeah, see, I'm easy to ba I'm a basically able to just thread the whole the thing in all the way just by hand. And now, obviously, you just put all the old bolts back in. Um, the ones on the bottom, I don't know the torque specs for any of them, but the ones on the bottom, I would just make those like pretty damn tight. I mean, they're pretty big bolts, so it'd be pretty hard to strip them out. So you can tighten them down pretty good. The only one, uh, this one here, I would I would be careful not to over tighten this one because you don't want to squeeze in these two things on the side that hold it together that could cause some problems. So and then just don't forget to put the steering rack boot back down when you're done. Another thing you might want to check is the top of the steering rack boot. Mine isn't seated properly up there in the top.